Hi guys, today we're looking at creating Christmas colouring books for kids using pre-made pages. This is an affinity tutorial for low content book publishers. Very straightforward. So, downloading your first interior collection, and you can see I've got a collection of interiors there. There are a number of Christmas book interiors you can download from the providers like Creative Fabrica which is where I'm sourcing my interiors from. All links to there can be found in the description below this video. Now of course there are many other types of interiors as well and we'll look at those later. For now, let's start with the Christmas Colouring Book for Kids, Volume 1. What's in the bundle? Well, now downloaded and unpacked, this is what this bundle contains. Let's explore the files and see how we use them in Affinity Publisher. You will see there are Adobe Illustrator, PDF and PNG files. They're all in black and white, there's no bleed, they're children's colouring pages interiors. Now it says A4 size, 8.5 by 11, but I think you'll find that that's actually US letter. But never mind. So. Let's load our file into Publisher and have a look at the images. The one we want is the PDF file. Select File Open and navigate to your folder containing the files you just downloaded. Scroll down and select the PDF file. Ignore the other files for the time being. You may use them later. You'll be presented, when you load it, with the screen you see here first. Set the DPI and colour space as you see here, 72 and CMYK. Then click Open. This is what your file looks like when you first open it. And you think, wow, that's pretty cool. And I think it is. Caution, if you upload a PDF interior to KDP, you must have bleed on the pages and margins, even if you don't use them. Margins don't print, of course, but they're there as a guide for you to see where material is on the page. First, we need to adjust the document setup. Now, we'll do this once or twice through here, but it's important the first time to just get it right and have a look. This will bring up the setup panel. You can see that document setup. Set the document units to inches. It's much easier to work in inches. Mine defaults to points, and I haven't bothered changing it, <laughs> which is a bit of a nuisance. And you can see it there, document unit points. Set it to inches. Leave the DPI at 72 for the time being. You'll change that later. Set the bleed to 0 0.125. In the left panel, in Layout, Enable Facing Pages. Make sure Prefer Embedded for Images is set on. We'll modify some of this later. Your document now changes to this. With facing pages set on, the pages are placed side by side, which makes them a lot easier to, to see and a lot easier to gauge what the book looks like. Now we need to add a page and also add a master page. We need to have an even number of pages in our book. That makes it a lot easier. Select Add Page and place the page at the start. This will in fact be your inside content front cover, like a cover page on the inside of the book, the title page. If you want more pages, then add them after this first page, but always in multiples of two. Your page count needs to be an even number, but do not leave blank pages in your book. Blank pages will be seen and searched for by KDP. They actually search for blank pages, and your book will probably be rejected because they see it, blank pages, as padding in the book. You need to create a master page as well, and move your pages into facing spreads. You need to add bleed and margins, and you must have an even number of pages. So, going over that. 
Now let's create a master page. Select Add Master in the Master Pages panel. Set it to Facing Pages and make the size 8.5 by 11. Even if your bundle file has already added enough for bleed, as was done in this case, we're managing the bleed ourselves and we're going to resize everything slightly. Set the margins to 0.5 on all sides. Now the Master A page is in place. We need this because we're going to put a cover on our book generated by KDP. So that's easy, huh? You don't want to spend hours designing your own cover. KDP supply plenty to choose from. Remember this is a low content colouring book. A colouring book that kids are going to colour in and throw away. You don't want to spend two hours or three hours or pay somebody a fortune to design a cover that the child is going to throw in the toy box and forget two days hence. So, to continue. Next, add a front page for the inside. This is just black and white, remember. Adding colour will make your book expensive. But of course, go right ahead if you want to. Now we've got a cover page there, and I've got Christmas colouring pages for children. And I've got a help file up there to just to remind you to convert to curves. Any text that you add to this document, convert it to curves. That way, KDP won't say unknown font because it won't see it as a font once it's a curve. So I've got the cover page there, the cover title, Christmas colouring pages for children, and it's converted to curves. As I say, next convert the text to curves, that way you don't have to worry if KDP has your font. Use any font and convert it to curves, and you can see on the right hand side there, all of the letters have become curves on their own layers. Now really we're nearly ready to send this to KDP. A cover? Don't worry. You can create your own cover in a separate file but it's easier to use the KDP cover generator and you'll see why when you get there. KDP will say do you want to upload a cover or use ours? Select use ours and you'll be presented with a whole host of fancy designs that you can use. That's very good of them. Now we need to export to the PDF file, because that's what we're going to upload to KDP. Remember, if uploading a PDF file to KDP, you must include bleed. And it will say that on KDP. It'll have a tick box there, include bleed, do tick it. So let's do it. Now, go to document setup. Set un units to inches, this is where we're double checking you've got everything right and making a few little changes. Set bleed to the following, the inner is 0 inches, the outer is 0 0,125, top and bottom 0 0,125 and you can see there that's what I've got. Why is the inner 0? Because that's the spine, you don't need bleed cut off on the spine. Now other options are shown there, inches 72 dpi, prefer embedded, and just the bleed. Now go to spread setup, check your spread settings and double check the size. These may well be different because you've added the master and first pages, remember. So just check that you've got 8.5 by 11, which is the page preset letter ANSI A. The type is print and set dimensions of page. Now, you, you can see the tab there for margins. While you're on that spread setup, just check you've got margins at 0.5 all the way around. And that's current spread or all spreads. But just current spread will do. It's the only one you've got. With your document now set up accurately for US letter, ANSI A, we need to apply it to all pages. You've got the master page highlighted there, right? Select the master A page in the panel and right click on it. Select apply master to pages from the pop-up that comes up. And then once you've got that clicked on, select all pages. You can see over there and then click OK. Lastly, a little box will come up on the screen and say, do you really want to do this? 
basically that's what it says. Select OK to resize all pages and if you're quick you'll see all the pages just adjust slightly to the new sizes um, and options that you've carefully put in. Now go to File Export and set the following. Set PDF Press Ready. Now you can just use PDF Print if you like but I've used PDF Press Ready in this case. The raster will change to 300. If you change that to 72 it will change a few things. If you select PDF Press Ready 300 will be the default. If you select Print then you will also have to check the bleed box. See the little include bleed there with a tick in it? If you just select print that won't be ticked by default. So you'll have to tick it. All these little things you've got to look for. You can just set that 300 back to 72 but it doesn't really matter for this type of book. It's quite irrelevant really. And select all pages for the area to export. Not spreads not the default, not anything else. Select all pages. That's really important. That's why it's in red. Otherwise you'll have all sorts of problems. Now if you have preview selected as I have then you'll see your completed document appear momentarily. Now the next step is to put it on KDP. Now that's fairly easy actually and I have other videos showing you how to do that. This is one I completed just the other day. It's up on Amazon and just waiting for sales. So that's it for this exercise. I hope you found it useful. If you use any of the interiors from Creative Fabrica, it will, ah, oh, spelling mistake, it will take you about an hour from start to finish. Especially if you use the KDP cover generator. Now that one you can see on there as an example that is a KDP cover generator. There's a picture of a Christmas tree there with the Christmas activity coloring book for kids. 60 pages of fun. And if you <laughs> if you want to help a struggling YouTuber, go along and buy one. Buy a heap of them. Buy 10 of them. Buy a class full of them. Um, buy as many as you like. I'll really appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the thumbs up and the bell. I really appreciate it.